Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The big radioactive promo is here today in EAFC 24. Cards that just ooze chemistry and a lot of brightness with that crazy yellow card design are coming to the game today and it's bound to shake things up. It's yet again another promo as well that is brand new. We've never had it before and it's sure to have some market implications. We're going to talk about that in today's video and will we see that big Griezmann player of the month SBC today or will EA withhold that from us? So we're going to talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content because there's not much to go over. It's not going to take you very long. First of all, we had a player SBC, one last Thunderstruck player. It is a right back who I'm calling basically the cheap Frimpong. Thierry Correa is a lot like Frimpong. If you actually compare this to Frimpong's cards, high medium work rates, 5'9", bit on the shorter side, but he's pacey. He can play right mid as well. Decent stats. And guys, he is cheap with really good play styles, right? Intercept anticipate bruiser he's got the rapid and quick step as well this is actually a really good looking card but the problem is it requires an inform in the sbc so the price of this is about 20 basically it's about 40,000 coins more than what it should be footbin says 41k but it's actually more than that you know that an inform right now is like 50,000 coins this is an sbc honestly that you should just wait on because in a couple weeks it's going to be really easy to do 13 days remaining if valencia do get some wins could be a card that has some upgrades coming to it as well. Again, it's not an insane SBC. All I'm saying is it's cheap and it could be pretty good in game. It's affecting cards like Carvajal, who was what, like 90,000 coins yesterday, 87K, and he's now 68,000 coins, dropping into the low 70s at least. That looks like an undercut. This SBC does have some hype. It's a nice card and it is live. So that SBC was one that was dropped yesterday that I think a lot of people were sleeping on. But keep that one on your radar. Also, we had the marquee matchups as we do every single Thursday. Packs, just decent. We also had some objectives refreshing the weekly objectives for XP. Make sure you check those out because XP is important right now on the way to level 15, level 20, getting all those packs. Make sure you're checking that out. Yesterday as well, we had the last lightning rounds of Black Friday. I think we're going to get lightning rounds today for the radioactive promo. But we had the refresh of all the store packs here as well. As you notice, inside of the store here, just about everything, besides this one Prime Gold Players Pack, just about everything is going to be expiring today. And everything's going to be going away. It's all going to be reset. Nothing else in here is going to say Thunderstruck anymore. It's all going to be brand new cards, brand new packs, rather. Probably some of the same Lightning Rounds that are not Thunderstruck specific, like Breakthrough, Small Rare Players Packs. Some of that stuff's going to be coming back. But a lot of your Thunderstruck Packs are going to be going away as also... All of the Thunderstruck cards, the best of re-releases, and the best of Team Leak all go out of packs today. All that is gone. I think people are going to be opening packs before the promo drops today because, again, what is in packs right now with the Thunderstruck cards and icons and the best of, there's a lot more better stuff in packs that people want to open their packs for than waiting until after the content drop today. So even though we had more lightning rounds and more store packs yesterday, it didn't stop the rise on Team of the Weeks because everybody wanted to do their last set of 83 times 10s, right? And so many SBCs still right now require informs. Informs were all the way up at about 54 to 55,000 coins at their peak price. Now, they're still around 50,000 coins right now. These are probably going to drop because I do expect to, us to get a Team of the Week player pick SBC or some sort of Team of the Week upgrade today. And of course, the 83 times 10 and a lot of those SBCs that were requiring informs are going to be expiring today as well. Now, speaking of SBCs, let's talk about a big one that actually might be coming today, but we're still unsure about it because EA didn't include it in that tweet earlier in the week telling us that it was going to be coming later on this week like they normally do with Player of the Month. But Fridays are always Player of the Month days for La Liga, and we've got a Griezmann that is leaked. The voting has been done for like five or six days. All signs point to this coming today, except EA didn't tweet about it. Guys, I think it actually could be today, and this would be probably the biggest SBC dropped on the game today. 100%. Griezmann, a top three attacker in the game. A very, very popular card. Very meta. This is an SBC that so many people will want to go out and do. And if it does drop today, we're thinking a price range of maybe 600000 maybe 700000 Maybe it's a little bit cheaper than that. Who knows? 
but it's going to be 90 rated and it should have finesse plus because that is what his regular cards have and that would make waves that would drop of course before the normal 6 p.m content drop before the new cards come into packs so that could make some waves as an sbc a striker that a lot of people would want to do not saying that everybody has fodder right now because we've all been doing all these other sbcs not that we have fodder to go and do it right away but it would be an sbc that a lot of people would want to craft so watch out for that today before the content drop and also watch out for rttk upgrades couple weeks ago, they upgraded these cards before the content drop. A few weeks back, for the first upgrades, they dropped them later in the nighttime. Sometime today on Friday, we should be getting some of those upgrades from the games this past week, right? Like, uh, Joao Pedro is going to go to an 89-rated card. You've got Dest, who's actually going to be going to an 86 with their win and clinching a spot in the knockouts. He's going to go from an 83 to an 86-rated card. DePaul is going up plus one. Bukayo Saka plus one. Lewandowski is getting his final and second and final upgrade going to a 94 as well. There's still a lot of cards hanging in the balance like Bruno and like Osaman, right? They can still get another upgrade or two upgrades depending on how their last and final match week of Champions League goes. But today we should be getting some upgrades on those live cards as well. Three days this week with upgrades on live cards. Kind of crazy. Now, Let's get into today, the radioactive promo. We saw a new loading screen that was dropped yesterday, and EA actually messed it up at first. It's now showing the correct nationality of the flag on the loading screen. At first, it showed England, as this does here, but it actually is Croatia, of course, because it's not an English player from Manchester City that we're getting today. It is a Croatian. It is Gavardio, as it was leaked. And this is, once again, EA showing us how the radioactive promo works. If you didn't see this in yesterday's video, all you have to do is add a manager from that league or a player from that league to your squad to get a radioactive player on full chem since they once again contribute two nation points two club points and two league points to every single radioactive player that is in the squad so you put them in there on two chemistry and you just need one small thing to get them on full chem we didn't mention in yesterday's video but something that's actually really interesting with these cards is if you have let's say three or four different radioactive players in your team, which I'm checking right now, EA has not added the car design to the to the uh, game yet. But if let's say let's say you have three different radioactive players in your team today, you want to try some out. Let's say you have an icon in your club. If you put one icon in the same squad as the other three radioactive players, if they're from three different leagues, you all have them on full chem because the icons contribute one chem point for each and every league inside of the squad that is pretty sick and that's going to be a big pull for a lot of people to want to use these cards now once again this is the promo team we're expecting to today i would have to imagine guys that the mini release is a part of this as well and so three or four of these cards will not be released today but this is all the players we're expecting in team one sounds like it's going to be a two-week promo of radioactive but this is team one that we are expecting today so the, the biggest question is are these cards going to be cool enough and hype enough and are they going to be packable well i have some thoughts on the packable aspect of it right guys i think these cards are going to seem a lot less packable just because there's going to be a lot less people opening packs like think about it we mentioned it in the beginning of the video it's been all about thunderstruck cards and thunderstruck icons with these cards that are coming out today yeah there's going to be some people that want to open packs because i mean there's a special Messi, there's a special benzema there's a special oshawala valverde like there's some big name players and Probably going to be some really cracked cards that drop today, but I just think there's going to be way less people opening packs. No saved packs, right? Less people that want to go and open lightning rounds after the big pack spam that was the whole last week and probably a lot of FC points that were spent in the store. People wanted to take a step back from that, right, after a big week last week. So I think it's going to be these cards end up being a little more expensive on the market today because of the fact that they just give good chemistry to teams. And there's some pretty big name players in here that haven't had a promo card yet this year, right? Of course, Lionel Messi has not had an item just yet. I mean, Conte, part of this one is interesting as well, is like everybody just did, or a lot of people just did, the toughen up Evo for Conte. And I have to say that this card for Conte might end up being better than the one that's dropped in the game today. Of course, not for chemistry links, but this one at least has 79 pace. I think that's one thing EA has to try to do today to keep the hype at least somewhat rolling after a crazy Black Friday promo and the cards and packs being alive and upgrading. These cards have to have some pretty solid boosts, and I think they need to have playstyle pluses as well. That's what's going to carry the hype today is does EA actually boost these cards to make them pretty usable in game, or do they keep a Conte that look like this with 73 pace and just give simple upgrades? 
or do they give guys like Ericsson an 81 pace boost and actually make his card really, really usable and fun to try out? That's the biggest thing it's going to come down to today is I think playstyle pluses on these cards since if you don't have a playstyle plus anymore or at least a lot of playstyles, you're really starting to find to fall behind the power curve so they need to add that and i mean they need to do some stat boosts some really solid stat boosts because these cards like jolinton and katoto and some of the cheaper cards from thunderstruck are really nice and they're boosting the power curve that's taking a step up so these cards need to make sure they fall in line with that now talk about sbcs and objectives a little bit nate why don't you i think we're gonna see this sbc today right we always have a player sbc on the first day of a brand new promo this to me seems more like an sbc than an objective in my opinion but it is yet again another center back screen ER, but psg links if you think about it like i'm doing player of the month mbappe i'm gonna need some psg links in my club and i know that screen ER isn't always an overpowered or meta viewed center back in this game but with psg links it might actually be a card that a lot of people want to go and do i'm gonna be interested in this of course Having Mbappe on my team, going to have to find a way to link him without any PSG players. And he's going to provide some really good PSG chemistry. So watch out for other PSG links today. If this SBC gets a good pace boost, if Skriniar does, and if it's not that expensive, that might be actually a pretty good SBC, right? And that seems more of an SBC player to me, at least, than an objective. There could be a different SBC player that's released today entirely. But this is the leak right now that speaks to me as like, all right, that could be our SBC player today. And then we do have another leak for Dia from Syria. This to me feels like an objective or maybe an SBC dropped sometime later on during the weekend. Interesting card build up there, but it doesn't seem super duper crazy. But, you know, linkable because, again, all of the chemistry aspects that these cards bring, it'll be interesting to see this promo team today and how many of these cards EA make usable even on the lower and cheaper tier because you would have probably never thought about using a Timu Puki in your team. But what if you have, like, one MLS guy that you've evol evolved and then Timu Puki fits right in with chemistry? You get him on two or three chem points. And you're like, okay, that card looks decent. I might as well try him out. I think that's going to be kind of the fun part about this promo is just giving you new players to try out that you don't have to worry about linking with chemistry because they get good chemistry themselves. Now, another part of content today that could be dropping or, or maybe is an evolution. I'm not expecting a new Evo today. Um, I'm just saying it is possible that we get a new Evo. And if it's not today, since we do have eight evolutions now, at least eight, because I've got some that are live right now as well, uh, at least one. We've got evolutions that are coming soon for this promo. We've seen a car design added to the code. It's going to be another, like Centurions, it's going to be a specific car design for Radioactive. So whether it's today with evolutions or later on during the week, we are going to be getting some of those. We do not have any leaks yet. We're just kind of waiting for news on that. Now, with everything coming today, you're like, Nate, it, it doesn't seem as hype as Thunderstruck and all the icons and all the cards and packs. What is today going to be like on the market? Because usually when we have a promo where the previous week's promo was a lot better than what is about to drop, sometimes the previous week's promo cards end up going up in price. I think a lot of people are thinking that way and preparing that way for today. Ooh, 186 for hemp. That was a good snipe. But I'm looking at these Thunderstruck cards. A lot of people are looking at these as well and investing in them. They're live cards, right? Live cards almost always do very well out of packs. I think some of these have potential to do pretty well today as well. Am I sending all my coins in into them right now? No. But I think that if the promo does feel like it just disappoints today or if it's just average, like you look at a screen ER SBC and you're like, that just seems okay. When you think about some of the Thunderstruck players that we had, like the De Young last week was insane, right? That was an insane player SBC. One of the better ones that we've had this year, even though he hasn't got an upgrade yet. This one doesn't seem to hit the same mark in terms of hype. I think that's how today is going to feel. And since it might feel that way today, I think that some of these cards could end up being pretty good investments. But I wouldn't say you have to wake up and buy right away today because also, if you think about it, a lot of people are going to be playing their champs as early as possible today because they know that what is in packs with these Thunderstruck cards is better than what is going to be in packs after the content drop, which makes me think and feel that there might be opportunities to still invest in a few of these Thunderstruck cards if you want to, um, you know, later on. 
during the hours that lead up to the promo actually getting into the game today. So that's one thing that I would keep a watch out for. I'm not expecting like, you know, Quadrado to go up like 30K today. I'm not expecting Ansu Fati to go up like 100K. Or nothing crazy. But I do think that some of these cards will have some nice spikes. Some of the icons because they're rare. Some other cards like Davies, he's already up a lot. Frimpong, already up a lot. Gabriel Jesus, finally starting to rise. Almost 190K. He is up a considerable amount as well. I think that these cards could have a couple fluctuations today, but a lot of them could also just keep continuing to rise on the market as these cards are probably seen as more hype to some than the new cards that are going to be coming out today. Now, I'm not discounting that the aspect of just fun to try new cards out is going to be there with this promo team, but these cards are live, guys, right? And that's where a lot of people are going to be investing. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on this part of the market because usually on days where content is mid like we mentioned you do have some market rises and of course always watch the out of packs cards right always watch these cards that are out of packs that people may also run back to the market and buy because they're like yeah the new stuff it's just okay i'm gonna go back and buy some cards and uh usually what you see is that when that buyback kind of happens that buyback window is within the first two to three hours after we see the content dropped, right? People see it like, okay, I got to get, go get my team and then go play Weekend League. And that's kind of the thing I think we might see today is a bit of a drop heading into content. And then after that, probably some rises as people go and start to play their Weekend League games. Now, I'm going to pick, pick up a Carvajal because that was literally a 6K undercut. I'm going to be able to sell him for at least 75 right now, even though with the Thierry Correa, he is down. So I like that buy just for a quick flip. But let's look at fodder because also, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, I think fodder is going to go down some more this weekend. Of course, 82s, 83s, down horrendous. If they bring back a team of the week player pick today, it might make some of the 83s go up a little bit because, again, people are so in need of team of the weeks right now. Not because there's a lot of SBCs that are still going to be there. I do believe that team of the week prices will fall, but I still think that people would see a team of the week in SBC and be like, okay, thank you. I need team of the weeks for Mbappe or for a lot of the player SBCs that I would like to craft, right? A lot of these still require Team of the Weeks, whether you're going to do one of the old Thunderstruck SBCs. If they put out Griezmann today, I would assume they're going to in require a Team of the Week uh, for his SBC as well. So keep an eye on Team of the Weeks on the market dropping, but also maybe 83s. If they get an 82 plus drop, those could go up. We also have the Hero player pick that's going to be refreshing today. And that's going to be another player pick SBC a lot of people will probably want to go out and do. You can repeat it three times. And it requires 84s and 85s. And to be completely honest, it's probably going to be the 83 to the 85 market, if anything, that moves a little bit right after content when this refreshes. But at the same time, I do believe once again, guys, that lightning rounds are going to be coming out almost every single weekend. Now, since they've started, they're not going to stop. That's the thing, right? We're going to be getting a lightning rounds today. And I do believe that for fodder in total, it's going to be a weekend where we probably see fodder prices drop off a little bit, especially into the later night hours tonight on Friday. Maybe they go even lower on Saturday. But then after Saturday into Sunday, we'll probably want to look at investing in some of the stuff again if it does drop off a considerable amount. Because then we maybe have some more SBCs upcoming, like an icon player pick. People have been talking about that. I haven't seen any official confirmation on that. It's a player pick as well, so you don't usually see code added for an icon player pick. But we had the base hero upgrade SBC, right? Then we had the base hero player pick. We've had the base icon now. Is it too soon for an icon player pick i think it might be still might be a couple weeks away from that but you never know right ea is really starting to move with the content and release a lot of things so that's why we're gonna watch fodder this weekend on the middle to high tier for sure but i think we have to wait for it to drop before i would be interested in getting in especially with the lightning rounds that could be dropping on this game today now also it's another week of champs and there's a lot of gameplay grind think about it guys a lot of people had a great week of thunderstruck there was so much to do so many sbcs and I think some of that hype will carry over into Weekend League, into people wanting to play this game. And that does mean good things for the market for sure. And for investing purposes and also for just watching player prices move, it's going to be a pretty good weekend on this game, I think, for just trading in general. Cards are going to fluctuate up and down because there's going to be people that want to do SBCs, that want to keep up with the live cards, the Thunderstruck cards that are going to be playing games. Today even is the Derby Day for the showdown between Otavio and Malcolm. If you want to get in on those SBCs, they are going away. But I believe that game is actually today on the 1st of December. 
Happy December, by the way, beginning of it. Last month of the year, crazy time flies. But regardless, it seems like things are moving on this game. And it seems like there's going to be a lot of people playing Weekend League this weekend as well. So watch out for everything going on on the market today. We'll be live streaming it all on Twitch. I've got a couple of quick flips that I'm working on right now. I got a Sophia Smith on a very low bid of like 200 and. 45,000 coins. I was very lucky to get that. Watch out for cards in the best of team of the week and best of campaigns rising today a little bit, especially if they link to a new player that's out and people want to go and try those. I do feel like a lot of people are looking to make investments there, and I think it could be good. I think there could be prices of cards from those cards that are leaving packs from the best of campaign that could be rising up in the next week or so just because they are very, very meta cards and a lot of people want to get their meta teams. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream. It's been Nathan Foot Count. See you guys there. Peace.